Hey everybody, it's Tanya Atomic, and today I'm really excited. I've got a package from Sugar Pill, and what's in this package is the brand new Capsule Collection Pink Edition. Sugar Pill always comes with this little sticker, super cute, and it's all wrapped up in blue tissue. It is this brand new Pink Edition Capsule Collection so cute it comes in this little sleeve here it's um what's in this is one blush four metallics and five mattes just in this little um, blister protective and here it is it's so so super cute shaped like a giant pill and these are the little um molecules inside the pill there's all the colors with the blush right here melody um, so I'm going to go ahead and do swatches and then I'm going to do an eye look and I'll use my arm for swatches. My, uh, my cat Onyx, you don't see him but he's playing in the tissue right there, he's super cute. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to swatch is Slow Dive, it's this, um, it's like a, almost a periwinkle. It's really pretty blue. And then we've got Cloud Nine here. <gasps> Cloud Nine is so soft and so buttery. I think I might have almost got too much. Because it's so, so buttery, my goodness. Okay, and then um, Dream State is this color here. Okay, so the metallics are super soft and buttery then we've got undone which is this purple which is a matte so far they're very very pigmented very pretty and I'll go ahead and swatch the blush as well so that's gonna be that's actually pretty pigmented I thought it'd be a little more sheer as a blush and then this uh, light kind of lavender colors baby doll then we've got ember which is another metallic Then we've got Supernova. All the metallics are in larger pans and the mattes are in the smaller pans. That's really pretty. That is like a um, sort of a white, whitish lilac duochrome, like a shifting one. Then we've got Radiate which is this green here. And then Glory, which is this pink on the bottom here. Sort of a dustier pink. So those are all the colors. Really, really pretty. Um, so I'm already wearing blush, but I'm going to add a little bit more just to see. It looks like there's a little bit of fallout um, in the pan from the blush, um, which didn't happen when I swatched, so maybe I hit it a little too hard. When I dab back in, I'm going to see if there's any difference. So that's a nice um, pinky color. And that's obviously too much, but I just wanted to see how it um, performs, how it blends out. And it does. And it's really pigmented. It just went on top of the other blush. So it's nice. I, I wouldn't wear it like this, but I just wanted to see how blendable it was. I'm going to go ahead and go in with, the, with Baby Doll in my crease. So there, there is a tiny bit of fallout 
with these in the pan. And I am wearing um, Nomad eyeshadow primer from Nomad Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in, into Undone to deepen the outer edge. Okay, so going in with a softer hand makes less fallout. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna deepen the crease a little bit with slow dive here. I did end up covering up the um, outer edge a little bit, so I'm gonna go back in, get a little more of the purple. And these colors um, really blend really well, and they act like most of the sugar pill um, colors that I've used. The only difference is I've noticed a little bit more kick up in the pan, not like um, a whole lot, but a little bit more. Um, but it's not a big deal at all, and there's not a lot of fallout on my face or anything like that. So it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with Ember on my lid. Okay, so, so if you see that, there, there's a little bit of kick up, a little bit more than I've noticed with other sugar pill shadows. Okay, so this is a um, color that I think is going to best be best applied with the finger. And there's actually not a, not kick up when I use my finger, so let me try it. Because sometimes with like really shimmery shades, when you use your finger, it kind of presses it flat and it looks nicer. Okay, that looks much better, I think, with the finger. So then I'm going to go with this Supernova shade as a inner corner highlight and under the brow highlight. It's actually kind of intense for under the brow. This one shows up really intensely for me. I'm just taking a dry brush and kind of blending everything together. I need a little more purple here. So this is a finished look. Um, obviously there's more blush than I would normally wear, uh, but I would, no I would wear the, this eye look. It reminds me of pansies. I think it's really pretty. Uh, here is the palette again. I will leave details below with a link to where you can purchase it on the Sugar Pill site. Um, it's a really, really nice um, plastic, thick plastic palette with a magnetic closure. And it's very substantial. Um, the bottom is, you know, it's all clear. There's a clear window here, a nice mirror up here, and it's just really cool the way you can see through the outside. I think it's a super cute palette. It feels really sturdy and um, has all the sugar pill stuff. It's a little bit raised right here, so you can feel that um, 
there and it's just uh, super super cute let's see if there's any in fair kiddies um, this particular palette is vegan and cruelty free and um, so I just used it and you can see it's a little dusty there's a little bit more fallout than in regular sugar pill um, shadows that I've used so I don't know why that is but it's not too bad um, it just usually I'm not used to the fallout at all with the other sugar pill shadows that I've used um, but it's not that big of a deal it just is a fact of the palette so that said um, I really love this I love the way the shadows performed uh, they blended really nicely they laid down really nicely and they're highly pigmented so um, I, I love sugar pill shadows I feel like this is up to par with any other sugar pill shadows except for there's a tiny bit more fallout but again I'm gonna say it's not a big deal it's just a thing but not too bad um, <clears throat> I would definitely recommend this especially if you are a fan of sugar pill and if you're a fan of these colors the blush works really well like I said before I wouldn't wear it like this um, but I wanted to see how it performed and I thought it performed really well so um, definitely a good buy I'm very happy with this and um, I'd definitely recommend it to anyone who likes sugar pill like these colors or if you like this um, particular packaging it's worth it it's a nice package nice and sturdy and it would look nice on your shelf did you get this palette too are you interested in trying it out do you have any more questions or um, any opinions on it at all please leave that all in the comments below that's it for today's video thanks for watching